This is a typical work problem. Mrs. R changed a $100 bill in the bank and she received $20 bills and $10 bills. But the number of $20 bill was two more than $10 bill. And the question asks, well, how many is each? The way you solve this one is you set up solution um, variables first. Let's call $20 is the um, 20. We use this one, $20 bill, let's call it a W. Okay, number of $20 is W. And then $10 bill, we'll call it a N, for $10 bill. Okay, the, so the first one, equation-wise, you say, well, there's a $20 bill, number of $20 bill is W, and since they are worth $20, and there's $10 bill, and each one is worth $10, all together I have $100. So that's your first equation. The second equation, and you go back and then you say, well, number of $20 bill, number of $20 bill, we'll call this one W, right? W was two more than the $10 bill. Was $10 bill was N. So W was bigger. Okay, The number of $20 bill was bigger by two when it compares to $10 bill. Now you have two variables, two equation, and the way it's set it up, use the substitution is the best way. So let's try it. W is going to substitute it with n plus two. Okay, so we're going to put a n plus two times twenty plus n times ten equal to one hundred, and now let's distribute it in there. So you have twenty n plus forty plus 10n equal to 100. Combining like terms, you have 30n is equal to 60. See, I moved this one over there. Basically, I subtracted 40 on both sides, so n is equal to 2. Okay, If n equal to 2, then w is equal to 4. Now let's um, check our work a little bit. Remember, w was $20 bill, so 4 times $20 and then we have eighty dollars here. Okay, n was ten dollar bill. And that's two times ten dollar bill. And that's twenty. Okay, all together we have a hundred dollars. All right. Have confident day.